Centurion-based civil and structural engineering consultant Sasambizi Engineering Services believes it is the prerogative of African companies to develop the much-needed basic infrastructure the continent lacks, enabling Africa's socio-economic development. As a black-owned company, we've got duty to take this out there in the continent and help because we all know that the continent is behind in terms of infrastructure, be it water, be it sanitation, be it roads. So we are a major player in this and we feel our services will change people's lives in the community. We also uh, believe African solutions by Africans. We don't expect always to get people coming from outside the continent to be giving services to the continent. So at South Zambezi, we feel we've got that duty to do so. South Zambezi Projects Director Mokoko Mokhonye highlights that almost 80% of the continent has inferior roads and sanitation, emphasizing that Africa is facing a massive backlog, presenting attractive business opportunities for the company, regardless of the risks involved in doing business in certain parts of the continent. The backlog in terms of the infrastructure provision that I'm talking about is in the social economic sphere. Uh, you talk provision of water, provision of sanitation, uh, roads, uh, construction, uh, building of social, social amenities as, and infrastructure such as schools, clinics, hospitals, very much behind uh, almost all of the continent except a few countries. Even what you consider developed countries in the continent, uh, developing countries in terms of economic categories such as Africa and Egypt, in Botswana, there's you still have got some sections of those countries that are still far behind. As, as, a, as a business, much as we are profit making, uh, we feel that we've got a, a responsibility, we've got an obligation to contribute towards the development of the continent. Uh, much so because we are a pan Africanist uh, organization, much as we are based in Africa, in South Africa rather. We view ourselves as an African uh, fan. We do not see these boundaries. Uh, for us, we believe that the continent is one. The development of one country is to the benefit of the rest. Besides being a company focused on profit making, SAS Mbizi is passionate about the work it does in the engineering and construction sector. We get joy from feedback from the communities that we work in when they tell us, oh, I've never had water coming out of from a tap. I've never had a flushing toilet. We never used to have a road to drive to get to hospital or stuff like that. That drives us. Mahonye says an aspect critical to South Zambezi's success is the motivation of its workforce, which it says is the best the market has to offer. We believe in motivating our workforce so that people feel energized when they come to work. They feel proud of the work that they're doing, they give you your utmost. Because ultimately the output that we give to the client is the input of the employees. If got employees who are not motivated, even the quality of their work will be wanting. So the workers are a critical asset that we've got in the company. Uh, we make sure that we look after them, they're motivated, we create an atmosphere that is conducive for their growth and productivity. He adds that South Zambezi's growth has been both qualitative and quantitative. When South Zambezi was acquired and rebranded in 2014, we had less than 10 engineers. Uh, we're talking around 60 now. With, with, with the gigantic uh, growth. Uh, in the past 12 months, we've grown by about 70%. We anticipate that with the portfolio of projects that we've got, the coming 12 months, January to December 2018, we project that will grow by around about 60 to 70 percent, uh, given the number of projects that we are in the pipeline. So we are really growing. We've grown 
tremendously. Uh, and we're on course as well towards growth. Perry says to cater for this foreseen growth and provide a working environment conducive to productivity, the company invested in land to build new offices at the Midway Industrial Park in Centurion, which will launch officially on December 8. We believe that a good work environment encourages productivity amongst our employees. And I must just add that the growth has been phenomenal.